my name is Miguel. So I just came up with an idea to uh, have a, uh, a another YouTube channel. I have uh, one other channel, but this one here is uh, different, and I will keep it unique to only doing one thing and one thing only, which is juggling. I am not an expert in juggling. I'm a beginner, or you could say uh, intermediary. Okay, so but I've been juggling since uh, 2006, off and on. Initially, I started uh, with one ball. Then I added a second ball once I had a feel for the first ball, and then. Uh, suddenly, I went. To, uh, I started with, and I added another one. When I say suddenly, I went to uh, France in two thousand six. That's when I started doing three balls, and so, and I saw that uh, uh, there were three ball uh, juggling balls. So I started uh, at the house where I was, and I started uh, to uh, to juggle with the two, and then trying to add the the third one. And within an hour, and I was able to uh, to do them, to do all three of them, uh, with some uh, errors, okay. But I was able to to do them, and and I think I spent the I was there for uh, two weeks. It was a two weeks vacation, and I, before before I left, I was able to do all three of them comfortably. So what does that mean? It means that if you want to do something, you can do it. You just have to put your mind into it. If somebody forces you to do something and you know that there is consequences if you don't want to do it, then you will be able to do it. Just like basic training, the military or the school, because when you go to school, grade school or college, you are being forced to learn something. And if you don't learn, you get bad grades. And it's the same thing. And also there are other things when you're an adult, you're on your own, where people cannot force you to do something, but you put your mind, and you put your mind into it, and then you learn it, okay? So if you're watching this, it's because you choose to learn the basics of juggling. And over the, over the next couple of months and years, who knows, and we'll be able to do this together, we'll grow. Because uh, my objective is to add a fourth ball, okay? And I've been wanting to add a fourth ball for a long time, but I kept putting it off. So that's where we'll be working together. So this is a brief tutorial. And uh, so the best way to do it is one ball at a time. For example, I have this little man here and uh, he will try to do one ball because that's how I ask. Go ahead, kneel down so you can be fully on the camera. Kneel, put your knees on the floor, your knees on the floor. Okay, try to juggle with one hand. Okay, okay, there we go, comfortable. Yeah, you go up a little bit higher. There we go, like that. Keep on, yeah, do it again. So, yeah, here, here, another one. Let's do this faster so you, it's, a, it's filming. Okay, one. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you got that. Okay, so that's the basic. Look, that's the basic. And that's how I started. Okay, that's the basic. You see how it's difficult for him. Yeah, you see? So you don't expect to, uh, to juggle with three balls for the first time. It will not happen. Because if we juggling, just like more by side, bicycle, it requires coordination, lots of coordinations. You have muscle, okay, in your arms that you've never used before, here mainly. And you have your, uh, your wrist, your wrist, okay, your arm, your fingers, okay. Most importantly, both eyes and your, and your brain, because your brain is telling your eyes. And le lesson number one, always keep your eyes on the ball. Keep your eyes on the ball, which means if you are blind, you cannot do this, okay? So always start with one ball. That's how I did, see? Like that, see? And then 
learn, you will learn how to throw the ball up in the air. See? Straight. It doesn't have to be a straight line, but at least you can manage it. When you see my little man, go ahead and throw it up the, uh, the air. And then you see, go ahead again, keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Okay, see, he cannot, he cannot grab it. Why? Because it's not falling straight into his, his, the palm of his hand. Okay, so keep your eyes on the ball and then you can actually go meet the ball. You don't just let the ball fall in your hand, but you just go ahead and meet the ball halfway and you, you grab it. Okay, so you see that? You see? Some, sometimes you can actually do this. Comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. Comfortable, comfortable. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do one hand. Okay. Okay. Yeah, a little bit higher. Okay. So yeah, that's the yeah, that's the basic of it. So him, he doesn't want to learn it yet, and I cannot force him. Yes, I can, but just leave him alone because there's no money to earn it to learn in this. So okay. Like that, like that, and then once you're comfortable, you can slowly, slowly do another one. And the basic thing too, try to be comfortable because you'll be using both hands, so both arms. So why not to uh, learn this? You have to do the other arm with one ball. You can, yeah, okay, one, one ball, one ball. That's number not number one. Eye coordination, hand, hand and arm coordination, okay? You do that. So, and number two, after you get comfortable, you should be able to be comfortable in this in just one day. One day doesn't mean like 24 hours or 12 hours, but after a couple of hours you do it on and off, you should be able to do that if you're an adult, okay? You should do that, you should do it, okay? And anybody at age of 12 at least, should be able to throw the ball, especially here in America. We we do uh, uh, we play uh, football, okay, American football. And then once you get better at it, it's best to add, you have to add a second ball, and a second ball. And we, that's where it gets harder. You see that it gets harder, but it was just a an error. It gets harder. And then me, because I'm so good at doing three, I'm not good at doing two anymore. But uh, before I was able to do three, I was very good at doing uh, just two. Because doing just two is a skill. You have to make sure that they don't hit each other, okay? When you're doing three, they are different positions. When doing three, two, you have to do them, uh, you cannot throw them uh, like that. So they have to go behind behind it, which makes it a little bit harder, okay? But it means that you learn it, and then try to do it with the, with the left hand. But if you're not, you're not left-handed, it's gonna be hard, but at least you learn, you see, with the left hand, okay? You see, if I practice a lot, I should be able to do with the left hand the same way I do it with the, uh, with the, right, with the right hand. But I'm not left-handed, so I do it with the uh, with this, okay. But like I said, I'm very comfortable. Once you become very comfortable, now you can actually do this if you want to, okay. You see that? Because it's still part of it. You can do this, or you can do this. It's all exercise. You can do this. But key, keep your eyes on the ball, and then go meet them. Go meet them halfway. Don't let them fall in your, into your hand. Go meet them halfway. And number three, once you get comfortable, you get comfortable and that's where you will add a third ball. So this can take you up to a week if you practice every day. Every day, if you practice every day for uh, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, and you're an adult or 12 years old and you're very interested, you should be able to add a third ball within a week. And uh, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna be you're going to be professional or very proficient, but at least you should be able to do uh, to do this. You see, you should be able to do this. You see that? 
Yes, that's what I, I started doing when I was in France in 2006, because I was always be doing this, and then I didn't know, how oh, do I do this, do I do that? Because my brain didn't want me to do it, because my brain was not trained to do it, but I, me, I wanted to do it. So I ended up, see, I, once this one is in the air, okay, you do this, you see, like that, and then, yeah, you see, you see the key. Because I'm not, I'm right-handed. I have both balls in the uh, on the in the right hand, and so I will throw this up high enough, and then this one next, and then the third ball. This one, you see, you do this, this, this. See, yeah. And it's not going to be like this. When you first, when you start, okay, you'll be like I said, you'll be like doing this. Okay, once you start with three, and this also will happen, but you keep on practicing, okay? So this is the, the tutorial, and I will be posting other videos a, a or along the way and how we can do this together. And I'm asking you to uh, give me some, uh, I'm learning too, okay? I want to add a fourth ball. So please, if you have good uh, tricks, let me know, okay? All right, thanks for uh, watching, subscribe, and share. Wait. Okay, stop it. Do you think so? Do you stop?